Hi, I'm Bill Don Moyer, Director of Technical Sales for Z-Band Video. I'd like to take a two, few minutes to show you our Gen 4 product release uh, and the enhancements to that product and why they make sense for you. Uh, you're all familiar with the primary objective of Z-Band. It's our objective to provide quality video from the head end to the display in a building, a campus, or a metropolitan area. We've successfully done that with our existing product, our Generation 3 product. You may be familiar with this. Uh, the Generation 3 product comes in a 12 and 24 port configuration and basically enables cascading to connect up to 14,000 units together. And it's worked very well. But as we move on to our next generation, we start to add some pieces to the picture. We're going to be adding a Z-band light transmitter. And this is the transmitter. This is a 1U high rack mount unit. Uh, basically, we're going to be taking the input from our source into the transmitter, coming out with fiber, and we're going to be taking that to our new Gen 4 Gigabud. Looks a lot like that Gen 3 I just showed you. But you're going to notice as a starter, when I turn this one around, we have a built-in fiber receiver. This saves you one U rack space and uh, significantly reduces the cost of the fiber links in the backbone. In addition to that, we've added some additional features to the Gigabud, and I'll touch base on that in, mo in a moment. The balance remain the same. We have our free hanging and our wall mount that we call the Gigabob. Now, looking at Z-Band Lite, this system maintains the video signal quality in the backbone from the source to the MDFs or the IDFs in the same or other buildings. The key is it takes that source signal that we ask you to give us a flat signal feed and it keeps that signal flat to the fiber receivers in each closet. And it has a 10 dB dynamic range. That means that if your source signal fluctuates, we can now handle that with our Z-band light transmitter. The second part of the picture is the Gigabud 1000. That's our Gen 4 Gigabud. The Gen 4 has a new light on the front. That light is used for the auto detect circuit that now automatically determines if that unit should be a master or a slave. And once it locks that in, it's going to denote whether the pilot tone that's used for automatic gain settings is on or off. Now why would I want to turn it off? One of the problems we've had in the past is that if you had a channel 26 and 27 and we had a pilot tone that is between those, we could interfere with those channels. Now we can have the pilot tone on to set the automatic gain in the backbone, turn it off so it doesn't interfere with channel 26 or 27. As I mentioned, built-in fiber. The new function of the red switch on the back, since we're auto-setting master-slave, we don't need that switch to switch from master to slave. That switch turns the pilot tone on and off. Now we've also enhanced the features of the input circuits. Whether the input's coming in the CATV in, which is here, or a cascade in here, or with fiber. If that signal varies by as much as plus or minus three, or the slope changes by three dBmV, we will automatically compensate for that. Everything else remains the same. It's still full spectrum. Z-band light eliminates one year of rack space. Automatic gain is enhanced by the plus or minus three capability. 
fits all physical requirements, and we can cascade from a Gen 4 to a Gen 3. But we can't cascade from a Gen 3 to a Gen 4. So Z-Band, Gen 4, will maintain that correct signal quality from the sources to the displays. So the result is, we continue to be quality from head end to display in a building, a campus, or a metropolitan area. And in, in addition to Gen 3, we're now talking about handling variations in the input signal. If you want some more information about the Z-Band product line, go to our website or call us at 866-902-2606. Thank you.